long as you both shall live. An asking of all present here today in the hopes of a resounding we will to this question. Will all of you witnessing these promises do all in your power to uphold Lori and Seth in their marriage? We will. We will. We will. Now we will have the first reading. Be Seth and Laurie, I require and charge you both here in the presence of God that if either of you know any reason why you may not be united in marriage lawfully and in accordance with God's word, you do now confess it. Asking you, Laurie, will you have Seth to be your husband? to live together in the covenant of marriage. Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. Seth, will you have Lori to be your wife, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love her? comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health. A reading from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. If I speak in the tongues of mortals and of angels, but do not have love, I am a no noisy gong or clanging symbol. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away all my possessions and if I hand over my body so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind, love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way, it is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in the wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. But as for prophecies, they will come to an end. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will come to an end. For know only in part, as we prophesy, prophesy only in part, but when the complete comes, the partial will come to an end. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became an adult, I put an end to childish ways. For now, we see in a mirror dimly, but then we will see face to face. Now I know only in part, then I will know fully, even as I been fully known. And now faith, hope, and love abide. These three and the greatest of these is love. Let us together pray the words our Lord Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Seth, if you'll repeat after me. In the name of God, I, Seth. In the name of God, I, Seth. 
take you, Lori. Take you, Lori. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. For your turn and health. For love and to cherish. For love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. And now, Lori, if you would just do that for me. In the name of God, I, Lori, In the name of God, I take you, Seth, take me, Seth, to be my husband, mm-hmm. to have and to hold mm-hmm. from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish mm-hmm. until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. Bless, O Lord, these rings to be a sign of the vows by which Seth and Lori have bound themselves to each other through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I give you this ring, Lori. I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am, with all that I am, and all that I have, all that I, have I, honor you, I honor you. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Seth, I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am and all that I have, I honor you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. for a second, babe. Laurie and Seth, prior to this moment, you each walked a separate path. Now you climb aboard together on a shared path. Yet the journey is not yours alone, for you have been blessed with a beautiful daughter, Bentley. And it is the strength of your love that will nourish you all together as a family. May the sacred winds whisper joy into your life. May you take delight in each other throughout all your years. May your love rise endlessly, an eternal flame to light the day. May you grow old together and share a happy home. Greater love has no other than this. 
to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do, do what I command. I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends. For everything that I learned from my father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, and so that whatever you ask in my name, the father will give you. This is my command. Love each other. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As a reminder that Seth and Lori not only are making a commitment to each other but to our Lord, I wrap their hands in the in the uh, with this stole and we pray. Now that Seth and Lori have given themselves to each other by solemn vows with the joining together of hands and giving and receiving of rings. I pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal God, creator and preserver of all life, author of salvation, and giver of all grace, look with favor upon the world you have made and for which your son gave his life and especially upon Laura and Seth whom you make one flesh in holy matrimony. Amen. Amen. Give them wisdom and devotion and the ordering of their common life that each may be to the other a strength in need, a consular in perplexity, a comfort in joy, and a companion in sorrow. Grant that their wills may be so knit together in your will, and their spirits in your spirit, that they may go in love and peace with you and one another all the days of their life. Bestow on them the gift and heritage of children, and the grace to bring them up to know you, to love you, and to serve you. Give them grace when they hurt each other, to recognize and acknowledge their faults and to seek each other's forgiveness and yours. Make their life, make their life together a sign of Christ's love to this sinful and broken world, that unity may overcome estrangement, forgiveness, heal gifts, and joy conquer despair. Give them such fulfillment of their mutual affection that they may reach out in love and concern to others. Grant that all persons who have witnessed these vows may find their lives strengthened and their loyalties confirmed. Grant that the bonds of our common humanity by which all your children are united, one to another and the living to the dead, may be so transformed by your grace that your will may be done on earth as it is in heaven. Where, O oh Father, with your Son and the Holy Spirit, you live and reign in perfect unity, now and forever. Amen. Most gracious God, we give you thanks for your tender love and sending Jesus Christ to come among us, to be born of a human mother, and to make the way of the cross to be the way of life. We thank you also for consecrating the union of man and woman in his name. By the power of your spirit, pour out the abundance of your blessing upon Lori and Seth. Defend them from every enemy, lead them into all peace. Let their love for each other be a seal upon their hearts, a mantle about their shoulders, and a crown upon their foreheads. Bless them in their work and in their companionship, in their sleeping and in their waking, in their joys and in their sorrows, in their life and in their death. Finally, in your mercy, bring them to that table where your saints feast forever in your heavenly home. In Jesus Christ our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives one God 
forever and ever. Amen. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, preserve and keep you. The Lord mercifully with his favor look upon you and fill you with all spiritual benediction and prayer that you may faithfully live together in this life and the age to come of life everlasting. My brothers and sisters, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Richard Seth Park. Yeah. Woo!